In this video, we will start pre-processing runs in Binumerics. From the Sequence Read Set experiment card, one can easily launch a specific pre-processing action on the data. The demultiplexing, splitting of paired end reads and the read trimming are more general pre-processing actions, whereas the chimera detection, primer removal and sequence selection is specifically tailored functionality to be used with metagenomics data. As this data set is single end data from only one E. coli isolate, we only need a general trimming step to pre-process the data. The wizard will query for the criteria that should be used for the trimming operations. To exclude a specific trimming operation, simply uncheck the checkbox in front of the description. For example, we can unselect structural trimming based on poly A and poly GC reads. On the next page, the overall quality trimming parameters, as deducted from the quality assessment graphs, can be defined. For this dataset, we alter the minimum quality to exclude the reads to 10, the average quality to 30, and the quality for base replacements to 10. In the next page, we alter the settings to 15, 25 and 20 respectively. We exclude all reads shorter than 50 base pairs, and select the sequence read set experiment type Illumina trimmed to export the trimmed dataset to. By clicking Yes here, the Power Assembler window will open. After confirmation, the trimming pipeline is built up and executed. Once the calculations have finished, the resulting dataset is saved to the database. There is an easy way to manually interfere with the trimming. One can change the parameters for trimming or even alter the trimming pipeline from the Power Assembly Analysis window. As an example, we can change the parameter for the minimum quality and we can exclude the tail quality trimming. From the report, the different parameter settings for each trimming action are displayed. When we take a look at the report of the overall quality trimming, the parameters are displayed on top and then the histograms are shown. Starting from these histograms, we can graphically define which parameter should be used. As an example, we can open the minimum quality histogram by right-clicking and selecting Open in dedicated window. This opens the summary graph on the read quality where the trimming threshold is indicated as a red line. We can easily change the threshold from 10 to 8 by dragging the red line. This way the trimming parameter is updated and all action states change from completed to to be calculated. To exclude a specific action, I select the action and I choose Action Remove Action to remove it from the pipeline. I can now rerun the analysis with this button and save the updated dataset to the database.
Now we have imported raw sequence reads and the pre-processed sequence reads in two different experiments in our database. Note that if you want to work on the pre-processed data, you can override the original reads with a pre-processed dataset. This way, the raw reads will not be accessible anymore for later reference. If you want to run the same trimming pipeline on a number of samples, you can simply select all these ends in a database and start the trimming in batch. This will automatically generate a trimming project for each sample and execute them in batch. From these pre-processed datasets, different analysis can be started. The dataset that was used to illustrate the trimming feature can now be used for a genome mapping experiment or a de novo assembly, which is illustrated in our other videos.